Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. And foolishness is bound in the heart of a child, but the rod of correction shall drive it far from him. Today we're going to learn the principles on godly parenting in these verses ni Siling Solomon sa atong nakukuran. So doon lang kabagay ng kabagaan sa focus ni Ming Adlao. Number one, let's talk about the parental responsibility. Pag Siling Solomon train up a child in the way he should go, it is clear that the responsibility lies on the parents. It is basically the parental responsibility. Pero ano ba lang po silingon mo turan pag silingon mo turan, train up a child? Now, ang word na train dre sa Hebrew mo turan was only used four times in the scripture. And this word is associated with the word dedicate. So, anong pictures? Ano ka significant ni mo turan? The training the child involves the idea of dedication. For those who know the Lord, ang mga parents may kahadlaw sa Diyos, ang mga parents na kung may relasyon sa Gino, we always recognize that our children are given from God. That our children is from the Lord. Mga kung mga bata, agad may pa, we made the decision to dedicate our children to God. Even sa Israel, they're doing this. They're dedicating their children to God. Why? Because they recognize God in the life of the child. The second thing I want you to see about the word here, train of a child, is the idea of discipline. Training has the idea of discipline. And what kind of discipline? This is the kind of discipline that we do in a godly way. We discipline our children in a godly way. So in discipline involves two things. Instruction means verbal a verbal communication we instruct our children what is right and the second thing is the correction we uh we correct them when they made mistakes you see the idea in verse 15 is clear the foolishness is bound in the heart of a child and no pictures in it even though our child is cute and we love them but in reality our children are born with the nature of sin every single person that was born in this world has a sinful nature. And that is the reality. No exemption. Anak sa pastor, hindi sa pastor mo turan, may ara agin dya huyog sa pagpagsala because they are bound in their hearts. So, pagsin din Solomon, but the rod of correction. Of course, we know that this is the, the picture of chastisement. That when a child commits wrong, niya chastise siya sa ginikanan for him, for her to realize that he made a mistake, that she made a mistake, so that she will learn from it. So, mga picture dira, no? Naginhamba ni Solomon dira. This is the picture of discipline. We know that our child, even if we try our best, that this child will not will not go away from the right path. There is always the possibility that our children will make a choice that is not godly, choice that is directed to sin, because that is in reality the nature. Even our children needs salvation. They need the Lord Jesus Christ for salvation. The same as Aton. That's why parental responsibility is there, especially in giving discipline. Now, the idea of training up the child is important also. So we have the, the picture of dedication, discipline, and now we do the actual training to provide them training in what? In God's way. Now, I want, to, I want to explain this statement ni Solomon. Tama kimutante ni. Pag sila niya, train up the child in the way he should go. Now, pag sila niya, in the way he should go, ang word mo otura in the way, it means the course of life. Now, we have the premise of godly parenting. Godly parenting starts, as I said, in the recognition of God's creatorship and God's ownership of children by, the, the, by dedicating our children to God. We must also understand that it is God's purpose for our child, for our children, that should be fulfilled in their lives. Kung kibalo kitang ang Diyos ang tag-iya sa kabataan, and we do that and we recognize that in the moment we dedicated our children to God, then the thing that comes into our mind, ang gusto sa Diyos na pat ang matuman sa ato ng buton. That's the idea of in the way, the course of life must be in accordance to the purpose of God in the lives of our children. Anong leksyon sini? 
That's the, that's the second thing. Ari mo Quran, in the way he should go. Ang word nga he refers to the child. It is refers to the parents, no? In the way he should go, ano amo na ang course of life ng kauturan na i-train na ko ng bata ko. This is very important. The role of the parents is not to impose to our children what we want them to be. Or we want them to fulfill our failed dreams in life. Remember, God has a plan for our children. And often, that is infused in their desires. So, pag nakabalo, Pastor, nga ang atong bata, ang muna gusto niya magdako siya, ang muna gusto niya ang himuon mo sa iyang kabuhi. No? Kay bata pa na. I would like to emphasize this. The word child there, usually atong default na thinking, ang word na child is like a toddler or a newborn babe. But in Hebrew, the word child there, mga kukuran, ang age sa child naging refer sa Hebrew, it means from infancy to adolescence. So, hindi ka minsan, mga kukuran, just like a kid, just one year old, two year old, three year old, gatuan pa ng lakat. But the word child is applied from infancy into an adolescence. Ang munang age mga kukuran, dara, sa word ng child. So, let me be clear. The, if that is the picture, then that's the reason why we ask our children. Diba? Kung bata, pag nandung bata, we ask them, kung magtigo, magdako ka, ga, anong gusto mo tabo? No? When you grow old, what you want to be? Diba? That's the reason why we educate our children and let them undergo different exposures and trainings and exams so that they might know what course in life to take. As parents, we observe our children, both their strength and their weakness. Pilingita ba akong bata, alam sa mat na ba engineer ni Guru? Akong bata, kapigaw sa mouth how? Ito hindi ni Guru, pwede sa mga obra nga may numero? We observe that. So we help them in every aspect as possible. We provide godly model to them so that the God-given purpose in their lives will be fulfilled. And that is the basic of godly parenting. Promise response from our children, mga kauturan. Said in Solomon, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. I want I want to be clear in this statement. Atong thinking is, ah, pasiling, train up a child, you train two-year-old, three-year-old child, then when he is old, you think of being a teenager or early 20s. Of course, that is not the word there. The word old there doesn't mean teenage or just in the early adolescence. But it is literally mean aged. Ng edad na. Or in the grown-up stage. This means how we perform our parental responsibility toward our children can have a great impact to them as they grow older. It means all the instruction in godliness, all corrections when they were wrong, our, all the support we give, all the effort, mga uh, para erase atong kabataan into what God's want to be, what God, what God wants them to be, they will remember it. Ang muna importante na sa early stage ng bata, we are doing our godly parental responsibility because when they became a grown-up person, they will remember it. Often, take it for example, often, our children don't appreciate what we are doing right now, di ba? All this active, all this instruction, the mga plaka, kita ko nung luba, amuna, amuna. They can't appreciate that. Not until they become a grown out or grown up person, right? Sometimes, di ba, feeling natin malipa kita. When our children grow up, they have their own family and they remember everything you taught them. Said, Mom, Dad, you are right. I started to appreciate my parents when I was in the Bible school. But earlier in from that, wala ko yung kanak, wala ko lang mag-spice lang. But I realized everything that I did was for my good also. That's why this is the picture of this verse. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not be part of it. It has to our parental responsibility in a godly way. This is God's work today.